I'm Queen Ro on MySpace, and I'm here to answer a question. Is it possible to sync a new iTunes library to an iPod without having to erase the old library first? Um, everyone says no. Um, I was My cousin was here from out of town. I deleted all my stuff on my iPod by syncing all his music on there. And uh, since, you know, I didn't care because I had my iTunes over here. But I wanted a lot of his music, too, because he had a lot of good stuff. So I really wanted to learn how to do this or teach myself or figure out a way to help others because I couldn't find the answer anywhere. So what we're going to do first, of course, is plug in our iPod, which I already have, and start our iTunes, which I started right here, as you can see. Okay. What you're going to do is uh, click on my computer. Go into the iPod um, USB, which is I entitled mine Rollpod. And of course, we have a whole bunch of files that open here. Uh, we're going to click on iPod Control, which is a hidden file on some computers. So make sure your, uh, your options on your tools and all that good stuff is uh, your folder options. You can see, um, you know, hidden files. So what I'm going to do is click on Music. And it looks like a lot of deceiving type of folders, but all it is is just music. Um, it's entitled differently, of course, but your music's right here. All the music for the iPod. So, what we're going to do is get away from here. I just wanted to show you that. This is a hidden file as well. So, what we're going to do is right-click and click Copy. So, I already copied everything. I'm going to go ahead and X out of here. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste it to <clears throat> my desktop. So I did already, I already pre-pasted it. And it's going to show up this, like this. Very faded and, of course, because it's a hidden file. So what we're going to do is right-click on the music. Click on Properties. Uncheck this hidden uh, box here. Click Apply. And, of course, they apply changes into the folder, subfolders, and files. Hit OK. And hit OK back down here. So, of course, as you can see right now, the file is visible. What we're going to do is go back to iTunes. Uh, maximize that. Go to File. Add Folder to Library. And click on Music. And then, after that, you see the, the main music files uh, highlighted. Hit OK and it should go ahead and add all your files to the library um, and of course later on make sure you have enough space on your iPod um, and hit sync and everything should sync perfectly now when I did this a couple files were kind of like uh, like about maybe four or five of them out of the 200 I had um, had um, messed up names but I don't know if my cousin had it had it like that so um, I hope this answers your question um, um, answers really what you were looking for because I was hoping that this, a lot of people, you know, could get a lot out of this because this is just, uh, you know, it sucks losing music. So, I'm a DJ, so it really sucks. So, hopefully now the answer is yes. Good luck. Let me know what you think about everything, and uh, uh, I hope it works for you. All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye.